This video covers the Project to Sketch tool. This tool will use the geometry of a current feature and project it onto a planar face or plane. Much like a camera that takes a picture of a 3D object and produces a 2D image of that object, the Project to Sketch tool will capture the edges of a 3D model and produce a 2D sketch. To access the dialog for the Project to Sketch tool, while in Sketch mode, go to the Sketch Tools group on the 2D Sketching ribbon and click on the Project to Sketch icon. In the dialog, the Entities to Project box will become populated with the edges of selected geometry. In the Output Options box, you can indicate whether you wish to use the selected entities to create a sketch figure or a reference figure. If Maintain Association to Source Entity is checked, sketch constraints will be automatically placed on the new sketch. This will constrain the newly created sketch to the edge features being projected. This is known as a master-slave relationship. The master is the original edge feature and the slave is the newly created sketch. If the master is changed or edited, the slave sketch will also automatically update as well. Individual constraints can be deleted so that certain sketch figures, those without sketch constraints, will not automatically update. Here's how this works. Enter 2D Sketch Mode. Select a plane that you wish to project the new sketch onto. Click on Project to Sketch. Select the face to project. If Maintain Association to Source Entity is checked, sketch constraints will be automatically placed on the new sketch. Click on the OK button and the face will be projected onto that plane. The edges of the selected face have now been projected onto the new plane as sketch entities. Since Maintain Association to Source Entity was selected, if the original sketch changes, the new projected sketch will also change. You could also manually use the individual sketch constraints to constrain only the items that you want to automatically update. This time, the same steps will be taken, but the new sketch will be projected onto a plane that is angled 45 degrees from the face of the hex nut, and Maintain Association to Source Entity will not be selected. Notice that the projected sketch is a distorted version of the original face. This is the actual outline of the hex nut as seen from a 45 degree angle to the side of the target face, the line of sight being perpendicular to the selected, angled plane. When the original sketch of the hex nut is changed, the projected sketch on the parallel plane changes also, demonstrating the purpose of the Maintain Association to Source Entity option. The projected sketch on the angled plane does not change at all since the Maintain Association to Source Entity option was not utilized during its creation. This video covered the Project to Sketch tool. You learned how to use this tool to project a 2D sketch onto a selected plane. This sketch represents the edges of the target items as seen from the point of view of the selected plane. You also learned that the Maintain Association to Source Entity option will cause the geometry of the projected sketch to change if the original sketch is changed. 